So hello and good evening, this is Ruiz Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today, even if it's Monday, we're not do, going to do Power Query. Uh, we are going to talk about, or I'm going to show you how to measure the distance between two points in Power BI. Uh, this is something that has been requested a couple of times and I haven't got the time to do it until now. Power Query video will be shown on Wednesday after I do a recording with Colin Taylor. So Power Query on Wednesday and today distance between two points in Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is something that you have requested quite many times and unfortunately I haven't had the time to do it until now, but uh, you're asking me how to calculate distance between zip codes or addresses, latitude, longitude, etc. And uh, yeah, I found some time on the weekends, so I am going to show you today how to do it. Let's move to Power BI. Okay, so what we're going to do to calculate distances between two locations, we're going to use Google Maps API. I have a few videos on mapping locations in Power BI, and on this one, Map Locations with Google Maps API, there is actually an instruction on how to get the Google API key. You will need these in order to be able to use the service. Okay, so you need to first create a project with Google and then everything will work fine. Okay, so the service that you need is the Google Maps Distance API. I will try to make a more detailed video about this. Right now, I don't really have the, the time for it, but because I'm going to give you a template, hopefully it will work for you. So what we basically are doing are, is creating this URL with our distance and locations or cities or zip codes or whatever we need. And then here at the end, we need to put our API key. And on the link in the description box, I'll show you how a, a video that shows you how to get that API key. This is a paid service. It doesn't cost a lot, but you need to pay for the service to Google. So I just want to give you a heads up. But what you get in return is magnificent, and I'm going to show you. So now we go to Power BI. I show you the Power BI file template that you will be able to download and how to use it. And then later on, I will do a video on how you can recreate that yourself if you want to learn how to do it. So let's begin. You are going to be able to download this file. Distance between two points, Google Maps probably will call Google Maps Google. So we will open that up. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to be asked to put the Google Maps API key. Follow the video in the description box to get this key. And then this is just optional for you to know what the values are because we will be entering those manually. But just select something, it doesn't matter. I will put my key in here. And now we're going to load this. I have, as an example for you, mapping the distance for three places. I have from Mumbai to Bangalore, from Stockholm to Kiruna, and from Oviedo to Gijón. Okay, so the, there is a table that is in the background that is calculating this. So how do you use this? It's very, very simple. You go to Edit Query. And then I have created a function that will basically calculate the distance between two points. And to test that this is working here, for example, you write Oviedo to Gijón. This is two places in Asturias in Spain. And then we want it in metrics and we want walking distances, we say. And then you click on Vogue. And this will go to the Google Maps and ask. As you can see, it's not able to recognize the distance between Oviedo and Gijón because there are more Oviedos and I just wrote Oviedo, so sometimes you need to be more specific. So let's do another one. We take 
Stockholm to Kiruna. Again, metrics. And let's walk it too. You can put driving or biking or anything. And here we get a response. So it's 1,200 kilometers and it's 10 days and 11 hours. So as you can see, it's working beautifully. Now, because it didn't recognize the place, you can, of course, put an address. You can put all kinds of stuff, zip codes. What I did in this example is I created a table. And here we have two city. And this is without, you know, the special characters in case there are any, not in this case. We have latitude and longitude, and then from city, latitude and longitude. So I've created, concatenated the origin and the destination, and I am feeding this to the algorithm. So in this step, we invoke the custom function. And here I'm putting the, you see, the concatenated latitude and longitude, click OK, and then you will be able to find the distance between both places. If I go here and put the city name, to city from city, you will see again that it doesn't find Oviedo or Gijón. I guess Oviedo is, is in the US, I think, also, so that's why it doesn't find it. But again, that is no problem because you can modify these to anything you like. We put origin again on destination, and then here we put no, driving is fine. And you can see here. So once you have the distance and direction, you just close and apply, and you can visualize it on the map. Uh, it would have been great if I could have those parameters in there, but just they don't show up. Th that's the way I did. I can probably do that some other way. I did this yesterday, like very, very quickly. So room for improvement, but I think this will get you going. If you want me to explain how I did this in more detail, let me know on the comment box. If this works for you as is and you don't need to know how it was built, then great. So um, this map, that's the last thing. This is the flow map. It's a custom visual. I don't normally use custom visuals. I just thought that this was a little bit cool to represent the distance between two points. Uh, use them with uh, carefully. Uh, I got actually it was Paul Lucassen that uh, showed me this map. I was not aware of it. Uh, so th this uh, is not bad. Here is the Via Don Quijón the showing the distances. This is like a bird uh, distance, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess this is all for today. Again, if you want me to walk you through how I created this file. I'll do it in a future video. Um, I thought that I just, because I have the, the, the file, I did it for something else. I'll um, give it to you guys so you can start uh, testing and let me know if it's uh, working for you, basically. So the API key, remember, you will get it in the description box and the file you will get also in the description box a link for downloading okay okay so this is all for today if you like the video let me know by liking it and sharing it if you have any comments questions suggestions about this video let me know in the comment box and uh, subscribe i publish power bi videos three times a week that was monday wednesday and friday and uh, click the bell button if you would like to uh, get notifications when I publish a new video. Have a great, great Monday. Bye.